Hi, this is Chris Siegel, Senior Producer. We spent a few weeks playing around with the Unity 5.0 engine. First, a reminder, this is not actual art or any way an example of what the underworld will look like. First, let's take a look at physically based rendering textures, or PBR textures. What this really is, is a flat texture suddenly has depth and reacts to light correctly and well, well, they're really awesome. We've touched on physics-based traps before, but let's take a look at a couple of examples in play. If I move this box, ow, you notice that the box actually slows down the momentum of the pendulum. Eventually, this thing's going to crush that box. Here's the other one that we showed originally. Then this is a gear with a spring that's causing all the animation that you see happening there. We can now expand on that simple execution to all sorts of interesting ways to deal with traps, from hit it with a rock to more complex and devious solutions and more complex and devious traps. Real-time lighting and global illumination are two of the main features of Unity 5. If you look at the chains here, this is a really good example of real-world lighting. Everything in this level was a light in the world, not a mysterious light source hidden from the player and then baked into the level. We think, we're not sure yet, but we think we can do lighting completely by in-world objects, and anyone who's played Thief knows snuffing out a torch can change the world.